All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we got some more dev news for Bannerlord. So they did respond on the forums. It's been a while, but they finally actually did. So uh, yeah, let's go over it, okay? So uh, we have a couple of posts. We have this one right over here. I think there's one up over here as well. And then we have another thread called Steam won't let me roll back. What gives? We're gonna go over that as well, okay? So let's talk about what's happening, where's the patches, what is the next patch, and uh, where do we go from here? As always, let's do it. All right, so we have a person asking first, hey, I love all the work you guys slash ladies have done, and I do apologize if this is a stupid question or something else, but I was wondering why doesn't Xbox have this mod or cheat that a PC have? Again, didn't mean to sound rude or anything. I was just wondering why is that this is the most polite person on, on the planet Earth. What is going on? He apologized seven times. But listen. Uh, he's pretty much asking why there's no uh, cheat menu or kind of like, you know, like the cheats that you can kind of enter to like get um, either a lot of uh, what's it called, a lot of gold, a lot of influence, all that stuff, right? Not gold, dinars. Um, and then uh, the developer responds, the base game cheats are relatively powerful and may lead to an unstable experience on consoles. Uh, the same is true for modding, though content vetting uh would also be a challenge regard regarding cheats if they were added to consoles if we were to add them to consoles it would likely be limited to what is deemed safe so probably like the ones that give you a lot of extra like um things uh maybe troops uh you know adding troops adding companions that stuff could probably be added really i think they mean like the cheats that make the game like speed up very fast or make the game kind of just like change significantly uh, i'm pretty sure you know an xbox can't handle um, when there's too much being added as well, um, there's probably like, you know, maximums that you can reach in terms of how much of a certain uh, type of thing in the game you can have for it to run properly. Um, you know, obviously PCs, they can um, withstand more because you can, you know what I mean? There's more you can improve on a PC in terms of like, you know, uh, graphics card, this and that, that you can't really do on an Xbox. So it would have to be kind of limited. It makes sense. Okay, let's move on. Uh, do, do, do. he's just talking about a support issue over here. It's not that important. Then another person saying, uh, duh, which is the, um, developer's name. Will there be a patch notes with new features this month or will be another patch that contains only fixes or will there be nothing? And it will only be in the next one. Can you inform me about this or is it a secret? Bro, people are crazy on the forums, bro. I swear to God. Listen, uh, the developer says we are working on another hotfix that will be released before any content updates. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Yes, he is talking about another small little uh, patch with a couple of fixes, probably crash fixes and uh, bug fixes that we're going to see uh, before the actual next big content patch. So we're probably going to see a 1.1.4 um, soon. Um if, if, if they kind of like is another one of those like small little hot fixes like 1.1.3 is as well as you can see it's very small kind of hot fix size and not really much content added so we'll probably see the next one which is 1.1.4 and uh then we will see maybe 1.2 or whatever they want to uh go up by probably it's, it's probably gonna be 1.2.0 in terms of the big uh next big uh content patch okay Interesting, interesting. Hold up, let them cook. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, then we have another uh, just statement here from the devs. The dev says, some issues, primarily st uh, stability related, can be covered by hotfixes that carry comparatively low risk. Wait, that carry comparatively low risk because uh, they do not change features or add and or content drastically and may thus be fast-tracked these releases may also include some minor low-risk quick fixes alongside the more critical items other issues are best resolved by bigger feature and or content changes or additions they need to go through a more involved process which is why they are typically uh, bundled into one patch rather than the uh, individual releases the clan kingdom life cycle issues um, that this person uh, pointed out falls into the uh, latter category uh both both have their purpose and hotfixes do not notably affect the timeline for content updates there it is so what he's pretty much saying here is pretty much the obvious what he's saying is hotfixes are meant for small changes also for game breaking changes especially crashes bug fixes 
those uh, get handled with hot fixes because they're easy to just you know um, get out there and uh, they're very low risk because you're just changing a, you know an issue you're not adding anything new that can create multiple other issues you know it's it's low risk it's a low risk change and sometimes they'll add smaller changes as well if they're again they're they're labeled low risk where it doesn't really change much but it's like you know something that you could just throw out there because why not right there's no reason to hold on to it now the bigger content updates the one that can make significant changes to the game you don't want to just throw these out one after the other you want to do big content updates because guess what if it's a lot of content a lot of stuff can break a lot of stuff can you know change drastically and you want to see how that change affects the game it could affect it uh positively negatively and you got to work off of that so that goes into the bigger patches that's pretty much all he's saying and he's saying this issue that uh this person pointed out well um i'm guessing the uh kingdom life cycle uh, i'm guessing some kingdoms just don't do well as time goes by some clans that's that's always kind of been a problem in the game uh, i don't know exact i don't know the exact issue but i'm pretty sure it has something to do with, with that that goes into the category of big content changes which we're going to see uh not right away because obviously we just read over here uh first we're going to get a hot fix probably 1.1.4 and then we're going to get the next big content patch okay there it is and also hot fixes um, don't really affect when the next content update comes out. They're just, you know, in the process, really. If that kind of makes sense. Or they might have two different departments. You know how that works. Well, I don't know if you know how that works, but, you know, there, there's different people working on different stuff in an office. And now let's go over this thread right over here. So uh, what is he talking about? Steam won't let me roll back what gives, okay? So a person says... Am I just stupid or am I missing something? By the way, it's my son outside. I don't know if you guys hear him, but he's like outside on the porch. So <laughs> you guys might hear him in the background. Um, person says, am I stupid or am I missing something? Is there a specific private beta code that I need to input? Why is this so hard? Okay, so what he's talking about, if I'm not mistaken, is the fact that um, you can only go so far back into your um, Steam. Well, let me see if I could uh, pull this up real quick. Cause my library has been acting really funny where it won't even let me like, yeah, it's just acting funny. All right, never mind. Um, what I'm trying to explain is, um, you can't actually access every single patch that has come out, um, for banner Lord. Uh, you, you can only go so far back. And if you try to go to like the, um, the original version, like the launch version, like the beta launch version, um, you can, you can play it, but, um, you'll see very quickly that you can't save the game. It, it crashes a lot. It, 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 it's very uh, clunky right now. And um, also, uh, they only kept some of the, um, you know, releases. The bigger releases are on there. But um, the problem with Steam is, well, it's not even the problem with Steam. Steam is pretty, it's a pretty good system. They, they'll they give you a lot of different um, versions of the game that like a developer can post to Steam. And then you can kind of pick from whenever you play the game but it's still limited to to a certain amount it's not an unlimited amount of um versions that you can pick from like it's kind of you know what i mean there's a max amount uh that you can uh as a developer you know kind of like put in your game if that kind of makes sense i don't know i don't know the best way to explain it it's like um it's like for example um uh what's it called what's that game called uh I'm trying to think. Well, what's what's the uh, other place for Bannerlord? Bannerlord is sold on. I'm trying to figure out what the other thing is called. Where's Fortnite sold on? I am having a blank moment right now. Oh my goodness. Epic Game Store. There it is. The Epic Game Store only has one version of the game available, which is the live version. So whenever a new beta comes out for Bannerlord, for example. Um, if you bought the game on Epic Games, you can't actually play the beta because you have to wait for it to go to actually live. That works the same way on Xbox, PlayStation. Um, only place where it's different is Steam because Steam lets you play not only uh, the current version of the game that's out, the live version. It lets you play all the previous betas that the developer wants to include, but there is a max amount that you can actually uh, uh, um, include. They don't let you just do an unlimited amount. That's what I was trying to get at. I think that's a better way to explain it. Um, but then a person says, uh, so am I stupid? Why is it so hard to roll back to a specific amount, a specific version? 
And then developer says the older versions were removed because people switching back to them from more recent game versions had to manually remove files to not crash. Generally, we try to keep older versions available as long as possible if there's no stability concerns, though there is an upper limit to the number of branches Steam permits as well. See, there you go. There's a max number, but also there was a lot of crashes, kind of like how I explained. If you go all the way to the launch version, it crashes like crazy and you can't even save the game. But yeah, that will uh, do it for me. Uh, I'm back, guys. I'm feeling kind of better. And uh, it's time to uh, get to these uh, videos. By the way, so um, I did install, uh, for anyone who's still here, right? I did install the, um, what do you call it? What, what, what mod is this? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Never mind. Uh, I'm not sure I'm putting it down the screen. Uh, I, I did download the uh, big mod that uh, came out for Bandlord. I forgot exactly what it's called, but uh, I'm going to start making Bandlord mod videos. I'm also going to start making more um, news videos for different games, like game releases. You guys like when I talk about the uh, forums for Bannerlord, but let me know any other games you guys want me to actually talk about um, that you want to see, because I want to see if I could kind of like diversify and kind of like cover different games. I think that would be good as well. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff to come. I'll see you guys soon. By the way, Age of Empires 2, uh, the DLC came out today. Videos on that coming up as well. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next one.